Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today we're gonna get into the beehives. We're gonna check on our honeybee swarms. We're gonna bust into our beehives, check them out, see what's going on, and just basically do a quick rundown on the honeybees. So come along today. It's 93 degrees, it's hot, it's gonna be sweaty, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna learn a little bit and we may end up installing some pollen traps, which are really, really cool little contraption. It's a drawer that catches the honeybee pollen. Guys, Come along today, we're gonna have some fun in the honeybees. All right? Woo! Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Stony Ridge Farm. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're get our smoker fired up. I want you guys to go over to another fella's page and let him know that we're dedicating this video to him. One lonely farmer, we're dedicating this video to you, buddy. Go over there, guys, and leave a comment on his page and said Josh dedicated a honeybee video to you. Hopefully, we can teach him a little something. He's thinking about getting bees. Pretty nice guy. He's got a really cool channel. You guys should check it out. Let's get started. So this is kind of a beginning bee lesson for you guys. So the smoker fuel that I use is burlap. I just go get burlap sacks from my local feed store, and I light them up with this little burner, get it burning, Turn the burner off and don't burn my face. And then I'll flip this guy over here and get my smoker going, okay? So you can see it's starting to smoke now. Just give it a few minutes, a few good puffs, and that's a half of a burlap sack right there, okay? I'm not a purist, guys. I'm gonna wear a bee suit. I've got overalls on. I don't wanna be stung. I've been wrapped up with bees before and I don't like it. So I'm gonna wear a bee suit but I have a pretty cool bee suit. It's really breathable, check it out. All right, we're gonna set this down. Don't set it in the back of your pickup truck unless you want your truck to catch on fire, okay? We're gonna set this down over here on the top of one of the bee boxes. Now the gear that I use may be a little different than yours. This is a breathable bee suit. You can just about see all the way through it. It's a breathable bee suit. It's made of this mesh material. Really, really nice. Good for hot days like this and you know, nothing's really going to be the ultimate cure for this heat, but this will help. You can feel the breeze coming through this thing. I can feel it right now, so pretty cool. Let's get suited up, get the shades off, get the hat off, and get rocking. Now, a question I'm often asked is, can you get stung through your bee suit, through your pants? Absolutely. So these bees will let you know when you're messing up. Absolutely. Make sure your zipper is zipped. Let me tell you what, they like birds. Now one lonely farmer, three things that I always carry with me to the hive is a hive tool just like this. Now you can get one of these at your local beekeeping supply store. You can find it down below. I'll leave an Amazon link for you. Also this little rack so I can hang on the outside of the beehive and I'll show you how it works. It just hangs there just like this and I can put a rack of bees in there. Now, the next thing that I use is a bee brush. And I keep this handy, I don't necessarily use it, but all these items are good to have in your pocket when you're getting ready to work the bees. Now, when it comes to picking gloves out for working with my bees, I like a pair of gloves that fit fairly snug, but not too awful snug, and you certainly don't want a loose pair of gloves, okay? So you want a form, fitting pair of gloves. Once you sweat in these things two or three times, they're gonna be tight when you get ready to put them on. You can see how crusty and old these are. They're perfect. They're nice and tight and snug. The bees still can sting you through them, but they're not really likely to, especially the more you've worked with them. Now time for my honeybee disclaimer. I am not a master beekeeper. I don't claim to be the master of the universe. I am not the smartest person on earth when it comes to bees. So if you guys have any criticism or comments, please leave them down there in the video description so we can learn from them. Don't be a condescending jerk because you think you know everything about bees. I don't know everything and I guarantee you don't know everything either. So help us out here on the channel. All right, so we've got four beehives we're gonna work and look at the amount of bees on the front of that hive right there. That means the hive is really, really crowded, okay? So for sure we'd be putting honey supers on the top of that one, but we've got four hives to work. We're gonna get into this far hive right here first because it's leaning and we need to fix it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, get into that hive and make sure everything is secure. So we're just gonna lightly smoke the entrance right here. And we wanna be careful not to smoke too hard and we'll, so we don't burn any bees wings. And then we'll crack the top open right here, just like so. Give it a little chop, just like that, okay? Now, we've got some ants in here, which aren't really cool, but it looks like this hive is doing pretty well. We'll go ahead and smoke them down a little bit, okay? So what I'm looking for in here is capped honey, capped honeycombs. We'll go ahead and crack the top on here. We don't like to see ants. Certainly don't like to see ants. So we'll go right in the center here 
and we hope to see only honey up at the top okay and i am not a honeybee channel okay this is not a youtube honeybee channel but we will get into the honeybees periodically just to show you what's going on you know it's fun it's beautiful shining glistening honey look at that beautiful 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 very nice i can hear the attitude of the bees getting a little funky so we'll go ahead and give them a little more smoke smoke them down this is the hive that's leaning it's kind of crooked so we're going to fix that crookedness we're going to lift up this box and it weighs about 35 pounds set it to the side and look down in here again check out what's going on clean up this burr comb this is a queen cell that i just popped off and the queen looks like it's hatched might have been one of the swarms we caught now we'll smoke them down again Okay, just gently smoke them. This time of day, the beehive shouldn't be totally full. We should be okay. The reason I say that is because when the beehive is so full of bees, sometimes it's really, really hard to work with them. All right, we're just gonna pop out a center frame here to see what's going on. And this is the hive that swarmed. I know at least once, maybe twice. Looks like the bees are very healthy. I don't see any eggs in here. There's a nice big old fat queen cell right there. See that? That means this hive might swarm again. You'll probably get rid of that. Probably a good idea. Does not look like there was a queen in there though. I'm gonna take my trusty little handle here and lay him right there. I'm gonna lay that guy right in there. Being careful not to squish any bees. Gonna gently smoke them down again and check again. I should start seeing some brood at some point somewhere in this hive. If not, then we may have a failed queen on our hands and that's honey and that's honey, so that's good. I do not use queen excluders and queen excluders would keep the queen from coming up in the honey chambers and laying eggs. What this tells me is They've decided this is going to be a honey chamber. You gotta be careful you get into bees like this and they might start robbing each other. So you wanna work kind of fast. There we go, all right. Very good, happy little bees. Slide this dude out. And I got a lot of honey and I got no eggs. So I need to see some eggs. I need to see some eggs and some capped brood. Hopefully there's some down in here, but it's looking not so good. I think this hive has a failed queen, guys. We're gonna put the top back on it and let them do their jobs. Oh Lord, that's heavy. That's probably 40 pounds. All right, put our screen top board back on. We'll get pretty, plenty of air circulation. And then we'll put our top on. So going into this hive, I thought they'd be doing pretty well. They had plenty of honey stores, but it appears that they have a failed queen, which means there's no brood right now to replace the current bees that are in place here. Most of the time in a situation like this, they'll have a worker bee that starts laying until a queen can hatch. So we'll have to see. I saw several queen cells in there. I actually pulled one off. I think I'm gonna leave them alone, let them do their thing, and hopefully they'll hatch a new queen and we'll check them again in a couple weeks. Now we're gonna get on to this shorter box. This is the second swarm that we caught, and we caught that swarm two Sundays ago. It's been 11 or 12 days. Once again, we're gonna just lightly smoke the bees here, right here at the entrance. And again, you wanna be really gentle with them. You don't wanna singe their wings. And we have a reducer right here. We don't even need that reducer anymore. Pop the lid, open her up. And we have a screen top board already in place here. Looks like the bees are flourishing, doing very well. Now what we're looking for in this hive is to make sure that that queen that swarmed is doing a good job. Make sure that she is uh, laying eggs and we have some capped brood. We should have capped brood in here, okay? Hopefully we don't have any mites or anything like that. Mites haven't really been a problem with these bees. We get this burr comb off of here, set it to the side. Beautiful, beautiful burr comb. I know a lot of you guys that do crafts would probably love to have this stuff. We'll just set it to the side. And we're gonna go right here in the center and we're gonna pull out a frame and see what we got going. Very carefully, this is a 10 frame beehive. So we're gonna be very gentle, very careful. Slide this guy out of here. Try not to make anybody angry. And we should see capped brood or eggs or something fun. This is honey. And over here on this side, 
there are eggs, okay? All down in there. They're so tiny that I can't zoom the camera in and show you. This hive seems to be flourishing very, very, very well. What we're gonna do, this is a 10 frame hive and we got a 10 frame box with drawn comb. We're gonna set it on there. Set this guy right on here. Now this is a 10 frame box with nine frames in it. It already has drawn comb. And what that does is allows the bees a little more space to pack them with a little more honey. So they'll start working on this. So we saw what we needed to see here. They're flourishing, they're doing very well, and we're gonna leave them alone. We're just gonna let them do their work. Now the next hive we're gonna get into is Mr. Ginormous right here. We're gonna check him out and see what's going on in there. I'm sure we'll have to add a honeybee box to that. Check it out when I pop the lid off. Okay, so we're taking the lid off, and there are bees up under the lid. There are bees all over everywhere. Just bees everywhere. We're gonna give them some smoky smoky. All right, now when we crack this open, you'll probably see a lot of drone bees go flying. Those are the male bees. They kind of get trapped up top sometimes, can't get back out. So hopefully this hive is not Mr. Grumpy Grump. I think it'll be all right. There we go. Guys, this is a hive top feeder that I had on for the spring, okay? We're about two weeks out from harvesting honey. These bees are hot. And that's why they're out on the front of the hive like that. And here's what we have. That's just loaded up with honey. Awesome. This whole super is full of honey. This is a 10 frame super, so this honey super should weigh about 60 pounds. Now, one lonely farmer, you might be asking yourself, what do I do? Do I need to go further into this hive? Well, I've got honey up here. I know I'm pretty good in that situation, so I'm really not too worried about this hive. As many bees are on there, I'm not worried about it at all. The nectar flow is peaking right now. We've got clover, poplar, all sorts of stuff blooming. So I'm gonna add one more super so we can get those bees that are out on the front, up in the hive, working, packing honey in those cells so I can fill my tummy with it. All right. And it's 90 something degrees out, so we're gonna put our screen top board on here, okay? And when we put our lid back on, we'll put our lid on, cocked up a little bit so that air comes in through the front and out up through the back. Now what I would expect to see in the next day or so is there not to be that many bees up there, okay? So we put that screen top board on there, we should get better air circulation, and we put that extra super on there. So those bees shouldn't be out here wasting time, they should be in there working. Now we're gonna get into our first swarm that we caught on camera, okay? These bees swarmed four weeks ago. So we should have cap brood in there. We should have new babies that have hatched or babies hatching right now. So we're gonna crack it open. They all have a great temperament today. That's awesome. All right, pop these guys open. And this is just a top cover, okay? And that's what I put in when I first caught the swarm. And we'll replace this with a screen top cover, okay? I have not been in this since we captured the swarm, so I'm really interested. It's gonna be pretty cool. When you're taking covers off and you're taking supers off and you're taking lids off, you wanna put it in a place where you're not gonna step so the bees don't crawl up your ankles and sting you on the leg. This was a huge swarm that we caught. I'm pretty proud of that swarm. And what we've got, whoo, we've got a frame coming apart here. See that frame come apart? So in here on this frame, I have brood that's getting ready to hatch and I have eggs. So I'm very happy. I have eggs that were probably laid yesterday. So I'm just gonna slide it back in here and know that these guys are doing great. All right guys, what we have here is a pollen trap and this pollen trap has a little gate on it, okay? And the gate goes down to bypass the pollen trap so the bees can go in this way or it goes up like so. And the bees have to travel down through here. See these little holes right here? That's their only escape route. In other words, they can only go in one way and out the other way. Well, inside here are two pieces of wire, layers about that thick. And when the bees walk through, their pollen gets knocked off of their legs and into this drawer. So every day you go out, you slide the drawer out, and you get an awesome bounty of pollen. And we'll show you once we start getting pollen, we'll show you the bounty. It's really, really cool. Now the reason this thing is adjustable and slides up and down is so you can give your bees a week with pollen and a week without pollen, or two weeks without pollen and two weeks with pollen. Pollen is the honeybee's protein source and honey is the honeybee's carbohydrate source. Now in order to install this pollen trap, I have to take the hive all the way down. It's a little bit hairy. Okay, so I made the bees mad and they are angry at me right now. They are flying around my face because I accidentally squished a couple and 
they don't like that it doesn't make them happy probably come back another day and install that pollen trap and show you how it works a little bit better that'd be pretty fun but for right now we're done so in review what we saw in our honeybee boxes the first box we got into didn't have a queen and that box has swarmed twice so what i'm thinking is the queen has left twice and they don't have a replacement queen which is kind of sad so they had a queen failure hopefully they'll pick it up and everything will be all right the next box was a second swarm that we caught and that was caught three weeks ago and there are eggs in there and i'm happy with it and everything looks good we added a super to that box the next box was the box with all the bees plastered to the front of the hive. That box we know is doing well. It's flourishing. It's doing great. We're actually probably going to have a swarm out of that box because it's so crowded. But as I speak right now, we've already been in the bees, but as I speak, those bees are going into the hive and starting to work that extra super that I just put on there. I would anticipate that we'll at least harvest 120 pounds of honey out of that hive. Now the next hive was the swarm that we caught, oh, I think probably five weeks ago, something like that. And they should have cap brood, they should have eggs, and they had everything they needed. They had a little bit of spotty brood, but that's okay. They had cap brood, they had eggs laid, it means the queen is flourishing, everything's doing good. We were going to put that pollen trap on there, but we didn't put the pollen trap on just for the simple fact that we disturbed the bees and we crushed a couple and they got irritated. So we'll get into them in the next couple days and we'll put that pollen trap and show you how that works. Guys, Guys and gals, I want to thank you a whole lot for coming to the channel. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time, please click that little bell. It'll notify you when I post a new video. You can come and watch our farm grow. You can watch the honeybees. You can watch the chickens, the garden, the pigs, the cows, the goats. Everything is starting fresh here. So it's going to be a great time. Come on along with us and learn a little bit here on the Stony Ridge. And maybe you'll learn from my mistakes. So you won't make them. All right. We'll see you next time. Please click that like button. Take care now. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your